Hey everyone, good afternoon. Chris Cowan here at the Booth Conference Open Dojo. It's a nice sunny day today. I uh, want to keep our thoughts, uh, everybody along the East Coast, uh, for that hurricane that's going on right now. Uh, we've got family and friends that are in Florida, uh, along the coast, and uh, just want to know that we're thinking about them and if they need anything, please reach out. I had someone ask me recently about uh, about my gun belt. I often talk about my plate carrier and things like that, but I just want to talk about my gun belt. Shown it, but I haven't. Uh, I don't think I've talked about it, what, what I have, what I don't have, things like that. And I just wanted to show what we have here, okay? So this belt here on the right, this is this is my my personal belt here. This has an inner and outer belt. The one on the left has an inner uh, padded uh, belt with it. It's a nice line. Both have Cobra buckles. Uh, this one here is for my wife. Uh, I basically aligned it the same way as my wife, as mine. So I'm... I'm a left-handed person, my wife is right-handed, but I sh I'm right eye dominant, and I shoot right-handed, and uh, like I said, my wife's right-handed. So uh, I wanna go ahead and put these on, and then I'll talk about them. You won't see me anymore, you'll just see from like the waist, <laughs> about here to here in the video, um, but you will hear me still talking about it, discussing it, okay? So uh, we'll get into that. Hey guys, we're back. So I've put my belt on, uh, my personal belt here. So this is the one with the inner Velcro belt, the outer belt here. This is nice. This is gaining popularity amongst uh, law enforcement, military, contractors, and civilians. Uh, if you just have a range day or something, this is like a good belt to use. Okay. Now, one thing I like about this is it has the Cobra, uh, Cobra buckle on it. Um, I have tested the rating on it. I don't know what the rating actually was for the weight, but I did test it by actually putting the belt up, locking it in, and actually hung from it, and kind of jumped up and down, kind of like, uh, pulled on a little bit, and it didn't break. I'm close to, I'm just at about 200 pounds, um, and it did not buckle, it didn't give or anything, you know? I think one of my uh, best friends made a good point when he said, do you trust that device with your life? And with this one, I could say yes. I could say yes. So we're gonna work our way around left to right, and come around this way, around my belt, and we'll keep coming all around here to this way, okay? So we start on the left. I'm running uh, double stack tacos right here, as you can see, okay? I'll back up a little bit here, camera up a little bit. So double stack tacos on the sides here, okay? So uh, running uh, my XD40 mags here, rounds facing forward, I'm wearing my AR mags facing backwards. Now, depending on what my attire is at that, that day, my mags will be facing a different way, my AR mags, okay? So the reason I say that is because if I'm wearing, if I'm wearing my play carrier, it's hard to, to reach back here for me because I'm running uh, steel side plates, my play carrier, excuse me. And so it's hard to get the, do the beer can. So what I have a tendency to do on my play carrier, I'll take my mags out, mags are empty, and I'm turning my mags backwards. Facing forward. Again, this depends on what my attire is for that day. If I if it's just a range day with the friends and the wife and the kids, um, my mags will be facing back. But if it's going, it, if I'm wearing a play carrier, full kit, helmet, armor, or you know, play carrier, that kind of thing, then it's going to be facing. It's, it's going to be facing forward. So with this, I, easily for me is if I'm on the range and I simply just tilt. I could grab from the inside here, and it's automatically just like that. You know, and I could do it easily you know, when they're facing forward. Okay, so like I said, it just depends on what I'm wearing at that time. Okay, uh, we're here on way around. Oh, down here we've got three uh, camo lights here, uh, glow sticks. Um, got a little uh, carabiner for my gloves. Okay, so these gloves. It was mechanics wear. I don't know where I got these. I think I might have got these at Walmart. They they hold up. I've had them for a few years. They hold up. Um, keep working our way around. Going back a little bit further. Back here, running a small uh, expandable dump pouch. It just opens up. Just open it up. I like that because it's compact. It's stowed away until I need it. Okay. And it's pretty quick, easy to like fold it up. You know, and then put it back and 
stow it away pretty quick, okay? Looking all the way to the back here, we're looking at the IFAT. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty pretty rugged one here that I'm, that I'm running. Um, running, I believe, two chem lights and my red Sharpie. Yep, red Sharpie right there, okay? So, like I say, if you're gonna, if you're gonna carry the gear and do things where you make holes, you gotta carry the gear to plug holes. So, iPad comes in for that, okay? Behind that, you can see right here, I'm running uh, s and so Smith & Wesson 995 knife. This right here, uh, I got on Amazon, and I think at the time it retailed for like $25. Now I think it's up to $28. I think it's become very popular. I prefer a scout carry for my knife here. Uh, I usually carry, if I'm, if I'm running with play carrier, I'm usually running three knives. So I'm carrying, I have this one here. I have, I'll have uh, another one on the front of my belt and I'll have one in behind my, uh, behind my AR bags on my play carrier. So three blades total on me usually, okay? Uh, this knife, I really like it because inexpensive, look at this. It's inexpensive. I know I'm a fan of Karambits. I talked about knives before, but this one is really nice. Really nice, yeah. Smith & Wesson 995, you can see it there, okay? Uh, fixed blade, very sturdy. Yeah, you can see Smith & Wesson on the side. Now, I love the blade that was made by Ronin Tactical, um, but I couldn't spend the money on that. I think it was like $300 for the blade and the trainer. I just couldn't justify that. I can justify that to my wife. I'm like, a knife is something I'm gonna carry, and if I have to leave it, I'll leave it. If that means leave it in a bad guy, I'll leave it in a bad guy. If it falls off it, off a, off a boat or anything, you know, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm not gonna spend three hundred dollars on a knife and take it into a bad situation. Okay, I'll take a piece of crap knife. Well, I shouldn't say this is a piece of crap because it's made in America, Smith and West. Um, but it's durable. Like I said, it's a fixed blade. Look at that. Look how thick that is. It's not going to break, and it'll do the job. You know? Like I said, I'm before, I'm a fan of karambits. So you got that feeling of a karambit for a reverse grip here. You know? But the blade's facing the other way. You know? And you can, it, and it works, it works really good. This is a good combat knife. What I like about this too, people, some guy asked me, like, why do all your blades have one, you know, one edge on them? And I'm like, you know what? Because I reinforce it when I make cuts from the, with my hand on the back a lot. And California law, you can't have a double-sided knife here, okay? Or a double-bladed knife. This one has a simulated one, but it is not sharp at all. And if you can see, it's flat, okay? So if you want to have it ground down, you can if you're in a state where you can do that. But again, this is nice, okay? I'm just going to set it down here, okay? So working our way around. So the knife was tucked in behind the eye back, back, back here, okay? Next, we're going to get to a holster, okay? So... You have various companies that have holsters, really expensive. They get the job done. Um, the main thing is you want like a level one, level two, level three kind of thing with your holster. Um, I want to hold my handgun and it keeps it locked in. But I needed one that was, but I don't have a lot of money to buy a bunch of different holsters. So I went I went with the, the Blackhawk Omnivore. Um, many of you know Blackhawk had the horrible Serpa holsters back in the day. Um, and it was easy to... Um, I shouldn't say it was easy. I never, I never did it, but there were people that were actually shooting themselves because of where the location was to unlock the handgun to pull it out. Omnivore has a thumb press here to release it. And one thing about this, this can hold, I believe they say 150 handguns. Okay. So when, as long, sorry, that's my dog. As long as you're running a TLR1 light, this will lock into this. So the handgun itself is not locking in. It's the light that's locking in. Okay. What's nice about this? Trigger is covered. It's secured. But it's easy to, you know, get it out. Okay. So if you're running a red dot, it accommodates that. Running a, running a light, it accommodates that. Maybe in the future, Blackhawk will have one where they come out with like a TLR7 or something. One that can hold that light. And then you can switch lights if you need to. That's what we're running on... Um, on our on, on our Glock that my wife has, okay. Uh, so with that one, she's wearing a smaller a smaller light. It's, it's you know it's subcompact. It's nice, okay. But it'd be nice to have a holster for that. So we we normally we run for that gun 
we run uh, T-Rex Arms um, holster, the sidecar. We run that one, which is nice. Um, going forward here, next, I wanted to look at, I always wanted to have, be able to find a mount for a tourniquet. Um, I used to have, have it mounted on the back on the IFAC, but it got in the way a lot of times. So what I did is I ended up putting it here on my belt. So what I ended up doing is just getting two elastic bands. I, they, I think it, these came with an old play carrier that I had. And um, my son didn't use the placard. I gave, it to my, I gave the old play carrier to my son. He didn't, because um, he does airsoft. So he didn't like the little elastic bands for his bags to keep them locked in. So I was like, he gave them to me. I'm like, shoot, I'll take the placard. So I took it and I took the elastic bands off and then I put it on here with the Japanese coins from when I was in Japan several times over the years. And I just put elastic band through it, tied the knot and it secures my tourniquet, you know? Um, you can see my tourniquet's got chewed up and quit. This is what happens when you don't leave it out there. You leave it out and your dogs get to it, okay? So just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, it holds it secure. Don't have to worry about it. It's nice. So all I do is just pop these and my turn, I can, I can take it off. I can reach it left or right-handed. Makes it easy to go. Okay? All right. Hey, guys. We're back. All right. So grab my Weiss uh, belt here. So again, this one has a pad. It's padded on the inside, so there's no Velcro. So I'm just going to leave my the inner Velcro belt on from the other one, but we're just going to snap this around. That's a little bit tighter. It's not going to fit on me because, like I said, it's for my wife. Okay. So, I'm going to put the strap on. So, I put an extra strap on this one to lower it because my wife thought her thing is that it really grabs up into the crotch. So, I was like, all right, we'll adjust it. So, I put a lower strap down here. I don't like it. We might, I might go back to the way it was before. It should be a lot easier because it makes it easier to draw it. Okay. So, Look at my wife's belt, okay? Notice there's no tourniquet on here on the front. I haven't put one on here for her. Um, same, I went with the same taco pouches on the side. Double stat, handgun, rifle, you know, same thing. You see here, going around, we got the same dump pouch. Got her the same dump pouch there, okay? She might never use this dump pouch. She'd be like, ah, oh, I don't know about that. But then she might put drinks or something in there. She drinks a lot of water, so that's good. Okay. Going around here. So, oh, that's why. That's why. Okay. So, going around back, I got her a smaller iPad. Got a marker here. Actually, I have a tourniquet right there. I forgot about that. I have a tourniquet, like, mounted on the outside right there with it. Makes it really easy. Running the same Smith & Wesson 995 blade here. And she's running an Omnivore also. I got her an Omnivore holster. So, like I said, we're running both... Like I said, I got to get a new on the board that, that uh, hopefully Blackhawk will make a new one that can hold the TLR7 uh, light versus just the TLR1, but that would be pretty awesome. But yeah, all in all, this is basically hers. It's more lightweight. The um, Cobra Buckle, not not weight rated. I wouldn't trust my life with this one. Um, it's not as durable. This is just something quick she could put on. She needs to get her gun and, you know, do whatever she needs to do. So, um, yeah, this is hers here. So, like I said, it's just a stripped down, slightly stripped down version of mine. Um, and it, get, it gets, it has all the same features. It's just my, some things are in different slight places. That's all. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one.